Hello. This time we're going to take a look at key programming on the Mitel 3300. The Mitel 3300's IP handsets have a number of programmable keys on them. Um, quite often these are predefined when we install the system. Which it's quite common for users to request additional features later on. So a fairly common system administration task is to, is to modify, change and copy those keys between users. If we log on to the system administration tool, Browse to users and devices, user and service configuration. Select a user from the list. Then go to the keys tab. We can see the keys programmed on this particular phone. Um, we've got on button two a handoff key. On button three we've got a, speed, a CDE speed call key for the voicemail system. Button five is just a simple do not disturb feature. And button six headset. Uh, let's look at programming a personal speed call key for this user. Um, choose key 8, enter a label, then voila. From the line type, you can see the, the list of features is quite extensive. We can program on a, on a given key. Uh, I'm looking for user speed call. And then in the button directory number, we just enter the number. Remember to include any, any access digits like a 9 for an outside line when you, when you program the number. So 90330, The red highlight there indicates that this button's been changed and not saved. So if we click the Save Changes button, and close, we can see that the key is available to use. That key should appear instantly on that user's phone. Uh, if they press that key, it, it'll dial the speed call number we've programmed. Now, other keys we can program, other features we can assign, let's have a look at a few of them. Um, DSS keys are quite useful. Uh, a, a DSS BLF key is basically a, an indicator of the status of another extension within the building. So if I program a key for one of my colleagues' phones, demo one we'll choose in this case. For the line type, we're looking for a DSS busy lamp key. And then the button directory number, that would be the extension number of the user, so 1107 in this case. We'll set a ring type of ring and click save. Now when the user demo one receives a call on their phone the busy lamp key on my phone will flash to indicate that that phone's ringing it's quite handy if the, if the phone's in another part of the building we can't actually hear it ringing but at least we can see it and if the ring type sets a ring we can get some audible indication as well if i press that key it'll basically pick that call up from the person's phone who's ringing so we can answer it on their behalf if i press the key i'll just dial direct through to that person Another type of key we can program that's fairly common is a, is a multi-call key. Multi-call keys are effectively hunt groups to all intents and purposes. Um, we can program a single directory number against a number of users on the system. When that single directory number is dialed, all those phones that are members of the multi-call group will ring simultaneously. And any one of those users can enter the call by simply lifting the handset and pressing the multi-call key. Um, I'll set one up for support. So label support, line type, if we choose multi-call, the button direction number is just the extension number, the director number if you want to give the multi-call. Um, I'll pick 5500 because I know that number is free on our system. And I'll set the ring type to ring. The other ring types we can choose, um, no ring, basically the button flashes but doesn't actually ring at all. And, and on delay ring, there, there's a pause of a, a number of seconds before I get the call presented to my phone. That's usually for, uh, for people who are kind of backing up some of the other staff so i could have a, a number of people who answer the calls generally but they may be program a couple of managers with a delay ring so that if the if the front end staff are busy eventually the call filters through to the managers i'll, I'll leave it on ring for now then click save and close if we add that key to any other phones let's let's go back to our, our favorite demo one user go to keys Again, we'll call it support. Type is multi call, button direction number 5500, and set that to ring as well. Like save. And now extension 1107 is also a member of the multi call group. So when someone dials 5500, it rings both my phone and the demo one phone. Um, if we have a number of people to put the same features on, rather than manually program the keys for each person, it's more sensible to use a copy keys feature here. 
Let's go back to the original user. Go to keys. I want this demo user speed call key to appear on a number of other phones. So we choose copy keys. Take that key. Use a speed call. Assign a director number to it nine zero three three zero three 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 seven three two three. And I've also ticked the busy lamp indicator at the bottom as well there. We can change that to a different extension because I'm going to, I'm going to send it to 1107. So let's change that to 1108 instead. At the top, we can enter a range of directory numbers we want to copy those keys to. Now we can put them in individually, so 1108, or we can use a hyphen and program a range. So in this case, I'll, I'll go to 1109, comma. 1101, comma, 1103, and so on. Basically, that, 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 that field can contain any range of extension numbers. Then we click copy. This is and copies those keys to all the numbers specified. If the destination directory number doesn't exist, or there's a problem with the key on that particular number, we get an error report at the end. You can see here, um, I mistyped the directory number, so it's not able, obviously, to program a key for that extension because it doesn't exist. Let's close that. And then there we have it, key problem, fairly simple process. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or feel free to, to give us a call and arrange a demonstration. Thank you.